Hey there everyone, my name is Shannon and I'm a senior member of the support team here at OneSignal. Today I'm going to walk you through the OneSignal dashboard and highlight some of our key features. There is a lot to go over, so let's get started. Once you sign up for an account at OneSignal.com and log in, you will be greeted with the main dashboard page where you can set up your new OneSignal message channels. A OneSignal app contains all your project's messaging platforms such as your website, mobile app, email, and SMS. If you have multiple projects or environments, you should create a different app for each of them. Apps can be managed through your OneSignal organization, which contains all of your OneSignal apps, billing information, security settings, and roles of your teammates. Once you have your messaging platform set up, your user subscriptions will start to populate in the dashboard as they interact with your app. A subscription refers to the ways a user can receive messages from your app. A user can have a push subscription, email subscription, and SMS subscription. More on this in our user's guide. Total subscription shows all the subscribed and unsubscribed subscriptions you have gained through your lifetime with OneSignal, while subscribed shows how many of those records are currently able to receive messages for that channel. Your subscription trends allow you to visualize your growth over time and global outcomes provide insight into what happens after you send your messages, such as users receiving, clicking, or performing custom actions. More on this in our outcomes guide. Before we start sending messages, let's head over to audience and then subscription to look at where your user information is stored. OneSignal automatically collects certain data like the first, last, and total sessions the user had on your app and more. To see all the available columns, you can toggle that here. The subscription ID is generated by OneSignal to represent the subscription. For example, if I'm subscribed to your iOS app, email, and SMS, I will have three different subscription IDs. Each subscription ID is unique and does not change. However, new subscription IDs for the same device may be created when your users reinstall your app on the same device or clear browser data and return to your site. This is why it is important to set an external ID. The external ID is your user ID that you sent to us and should be the main identifier for your users. Each subscription with the same external ID will make up a user and share the same OneSignal ID. The OneSignal ID is an ID created and updated by OneSignal that represents a user. The OneSignal ID will always be associated with a subscription ID and or alias, otherwise it will be deleted. Tags are custom key value pairs of data that are unique to each user or subscription. They are great for targeting audiences, personalizing messages, and can be set as filters when creating a segment. You can upload data tags through a CSV by clicking this button. This page will also let you upload and update emails and SMS numbers as well. I highly recommend setting yourself up as a test user so you can see how the message looks on your own device before sending it out to your users. Segments are a great way to send more engaging messages. You can mix and match these different filters to divide your subscriber base into specific audiences. Next, I'm going to show you how to send messages. Our message creation pages are relatively similar to each other, although email and in-app do offer HTML editors as well. You'll always start with selecting your target audience, create your message, and then set when to send it. We have templates that are reusable designs for push, email, and SMS. If you're looking to set up one-off automated messages for drip campaigns or journeys, you would want to create templates for those here first. The Journey Builder supports a full omni-channel experience and incorporates all channels we offer into a simple workflow. We have a detailed video going over journeys in our documentation if you're interested in learning more. The last thing we'll go over is the delivery page. The delivery page shows you the information we collect after you start sending. Delivery shows how many messages we sent and confirm shows how many end user devices have received that message. Besides clicks, another really interesting way to track your push notifications performance can be done with our outcomes feature. This allows you to see how many users perform specific actions you care about when clicking or influenced by your push notifications. Outcomes can be anything like making purchases, liking and sharing articles, engaging with the app, or anything you can think of. Please see our outcomes video for more details. Well, that's all for this demo. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our team using support at onesignal.com. Thanks for watching.